What's going on, chatbot builders? Ryan here, and today you're gonna to learn how to analyze images with AI. Let's get right into it. All right, so in the last video, we learned how to generate an image. Now we're gonna learn how to analyze an image. We're gonna click add in our flow section, and let's just call this analyze image. Click continue. And what we can do here is similar to the last video, we can start off with a, a hybrid approach. So I'm gonna go ahead first and use a get user data element. And I'm gonna just say, please upload your photo to continue. And so what we can do here is we'll click edit, reply type, change to image. We're gonna save the response into a new custom field. So we'll click add new and we'll say image to analyze. All right, image to analyze. We'll click on continue and we'll choose do we give them a skip option or not. I'm gonna just remove that and I'll click save. So then we'll rename this block, request the image, save, excellent. Please upload your photo to continue. So the user will upload their image and then we will have our next block analyze that image. So we'll click add content, actions, open AI, and we'll click on the element for open AI. In this screen, we're gonna actually swap from the dropdown, generate text and select analyze image. The next dropdown that appears is called image and we're gonna select from the dropdown the image. This will be called image to analyze. It's the cuff we just previously made. In this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our AI agent here, analyze the image from the user or from the potential customer, and it's gonna act as our estimate agent. And so I've got a prompt here and it's just saying something like evaluate the driveway, understand which category is going to fit in the basic 100 to $300, standard 400 to $800 for moderate issues and premium 900 to thousand dollars. This is a very basic prompt, but it will get the job done. The model we're using is GPT-40 mini, and we're going to need to save the response into a custom field. So let's click add new and we can call this something like image analyst results image analyst results and i'm just ocd so i'm gonna go ahead and put in my underscores you definitely don't have to do that here but it's something i do continue and so our analyze image action is going to take the image that we labeled image to analyze it's going to use our instructions or our prompt along with the gbc 4 mini to generate a description of the analyst and save it to this custom field image analyst result continue what we'll do now is add one more final node here and we'll say text and here's our response to the last custom field that we just made let's rename this let's call this image analyst results here let's provide a new title and we'll call this guy um analyze the image and we've already got this one request the image okay and so keep in mind these very small workflows can be a part of much larger flows because you have a very easy way to start a new flow here. So from this flow, rather than having such a crazy, messy screen where it's hard to navigate and difficult to understand what's happening, I can route things how I need to from different, smaller subsections of workflows. This is the way I recommend. You don't have to do it this way, but um, it's just much easier for most people to navigate, including myself, um, especially if you're ever trying to troubleshoot things. I like to keep things very small and simple because they never break. We're requesting the image. We're going to analyze the image and then we're going to provide the results to the customer. Okay. And so um, you know, obviously we can do a lot more things with that as well, but let's just test this out to make sure it's working perfectly. Um, and so I'm going to open up my preview here. We have our message here. Please upload your photo to continue. And I've got a photo I just found of some gnarly looking grime on some driveway here. You can see this is no joke. That's you can see that's some grime. I even left in some of the um, the nicer looking parts of this image. So let's click send and we'll just kick back and let our AI agent estimator employee do the work here. And so the image has been received and boom, we already have our answer back. And so based on the image and the condition of the driveway, here's the evaluation. Driveway condition, moss, there's significant moss present. Okay, there's, a, there's your moss inside, that's what they're calling moss. Stains, some discoloration is visible. Cracks, there don't seem to be cracks, prominent cracks, but the overall appears to require attention. It's true, I don't see any cracks either. Um, so this, the job classification, 400 to $800. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, Let's go ahead and run it again with another image. That was fun. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually use the other side of the image before. I just found a before and after image here. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and upload this and let's see if it understands, but if it has a reasoning to understand, okay, this is not that shape at all comparatively. And let's look, is, is it, and this is perfect guys. You see to evaluate the driveway, this is what's been looked at stains, cracks, no moss, no cracks. There appear to be no stains given the absence. This is a basic tier, right? The cost is going to be only a hundred to 300 bucks. That is pretty incredible. If you ask me in this case, guys, I think that it's only going to continue to get better and believe that using tools and using logic and reasoning along with audio and video and image analyzation capabilities are going to take AI ages and assistance to the next level in 2025 like it already has for CBB Nation since 2023. Thank you guys so much. See you on the next video.